Hey, what's up guys? Patrick here, and today we will be continuing the poor man's workout series by doing shuttle run sprints. Now, shuttle run sprints are one of my absolute favorite workouts. Actually, to be honest, I hate this workout, but that's why it's one of my most favorite workouts, because this is the kind of workout that's going to take less than 20 minutes to do, you're going to feel like dying when you're done, and you will have worked out your entire body, you will have worked out your body on a anaerobic level, on a cardio and aerobic level, and even a plyometric level. So, what we're going to be doing today is running legs of 30 yards. That will comprise uh, the basis of our shuttle run sprint. We'll be running up, down, up, down, up, down, and that will comprise one set for the shuttle run sprint. Then I'll be taking a 1 minute 55 second break, and I'll be doing it all over again for a total of five shuttle run sprint sets, followed by three 60 yard all out straightaway sprints. Now, Again, you don't need a gym membership for this. You don't need to pay a dime. Just go out and find an open space. If you can, take a tape measure and measure out 30 yard distance, or you can kind of guesstimate it. Well, that's about all for now. Let's go ahead and head over to the baseball field and get these sprints going. See you there. All right, so here we go. Go ahead and get this started. I'm running my first set right now. I have a distance measured out of approximately 30 yards between two points on a baseball field. This is in North Hollywood, not far from the National Guard station there. Now I know it looks like I'm running in slow motion. I promise you that's not some kind of a uh, slick effect um, on Final Cut Pro or whatever it's called. No, I do actually run that speed. But the beauty of this exercise is, obviously I'm not a track star, um, and there are people more athletic than me, but the beauty of this exercise is it doesn't really matter if you are a world-class sprinter, or if you're into track and field, or even any sport. The most important thing is that you give it your all, that you go out there and you try to run as hard and as fast as you can every single leg of each set of this shuttle run workout. So you can see right here I'm taking a break and I'm kneeling down and I'm taking a 1 minute 55 second timed break. Shaking it out a little. So a shuttle run is where you run between two points and you run back and forth for a designated um, number of repetitions. And today I'm running back and forth. Uh, you could say it's kind of like three three pairs of legs. So I'll be running up, down, up, down, up, down, break. Wait one minute, 55 seconds. Do it again. We'll be doing five of those, and then I'll finish it off with two or three um, long distance sprints. They're going to be about 50 or 60 yards each. And I don't know what your initial impression is of this type of workout or or this scenario or if you even think this is going to help, but I am wearing football cleats right now and the grass, if you can look at it, the grass is pretty soft, the dirt is pretty soft too, so I'm really digging in every step I take with the football cleats I'm wearing. So I'm not running all that fast, but I'm running as fast as I possibly can. And that's what matters the most, because that's how you're going to get your body to uh, try it the hardest it possibly can. So it may not it may not look hard, but trust me, you go out there and you do it and you give it your all, and you're definitely going to be feeling it. This supercharges your body, supercharges your lungs, your cardio, your blood everything. You're going to be so beat when you're done with this workout. It is amazing and it's free in keeping with the poor man's workout tradition. So this workout is going to work your primary muscles, of course, your glutes, your quads, your calves. It's going to work your core amazingly and it's also going to work your upper body because you really got to you you really got to swing your arms and shoulders and entire body whenever you do something like this. So it really is a full body workout. And right now I'm walking over to the camera because I have my camera set on a cup. And that's how I'm doing this. Yeah, I know it's kind of bootleg, but 
Sorry about the, uh, the crotch shot. Anyway. Yeah, so make sure to get your water, too. This is a workout that I found that <laughs> if I don't have water, it sucks about 10 times more. So make sure you have your water because that is going to help you out a lot. And it's going to give you something to do between breaks when you feel like dying. I've been doing this workout for about two or three years now. I first learned about it when I bought a DVD instructional set from uh, the athletic trainer at Boston College. And he introduced some pretty interesting ideas, like you don't need to do traditional squats. You could do one-legged squats and get a better effect and um, have the same, if not better, effect on your body for your athleticism. And he also said do shuttle run sprints, because sprints are one of the best exercises you can do for yourself. And ever since I saw that video, I put those words to use. And I've been running sprints ever since. And sprints remain one of my most favorite workouts of all. Now, why should you care about sprints? Well, with sprints, the amazing thing is you're using your own body weight and you're using your own intensity to create the resistance, to create the load. And the harder you push yourself, the harder it's going to be. The faster you try to run, the more you're going to amp up your body. It's going to strengthen all your fast twitch muscles. And it's going to give you some nice definition in all those muscles that are otherwise difficult to train when you're doing, say, a traditional weightlifting workout. This workout really fills in the blanks for your athleticism, for your muscle tone and definition, and even for your flexibility because you're going to be more flexible after this workout. I don't know why, but I just know that I am. Maybe because you're flailing your arms and legs as much as you can. So I'm going to walk back over to the camera and get more water because I'm, I'm hating this workout. So this workout's going to be great for anybody, football player, basketball player, baseball player, soccer player, even if you're a swimmer, play tennis, you just like to run. But again, it's going to be amazing for you, especially if you if you primarily lift weights or if you're used to doing calisthenics. Okay. Really going to amp up your athleticism. And after this, I'm going to have a protein shake. Make sure to have a protein shake after every workout you have. Make sure to get about 50 grams of protein. Add in some fresh raw vegetables like collard greens and blueberries. And you're going to make your body amazing from the inside out going to help you maintain your body's pH, which is going to create an environment in your body with which you can combat and fight germs and diseases. The common cold will be quite uncommon for you to catch, and you're just going to feel a lot better. Now, it's highly important that you get plenty of water because this is also going to balance your body's pH. And the more acidic your body is, the more likely you are to have an environment for the development and uh, for the growth of, back, of negative bacteria and harmful um, bacteria and, and also colds, the flu. So keep your body, your body's pH basic. You can do that by drinking a lot of water, by eating a lot of fresh raw fruits and vegetables. And that's going to make you feel better and look better. One of my favorite things to do is um, with a meal is just to take some water and some ice and then squeeze an entire lemon or a lime into it. Because it's refreshing, it's going to help you balance out your pH. Now, even though uh, lemon juice and, and lime juice seem acidic, at least at first glance, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And what's amazing is that lime juice, lemon juice actually has a reverse effect and it actually creates a more positive um, basic pH level in your body. It's pretty cold outside right now. I think it's about 45 degrees. Pretty windy too. 
One thing I've noticed about this workout that I find really interesting is that as I do it, my mouth starts to get incredibly sore. And I don't know why that is, but I, I'm pretty sure that's a good thing, and that means that I've been working out hard. So I'm going to come back over here to the camera and get some more water now. See, I'm wearing those football cleats, which I really like because it, you know, forces you to have more traction, and it's going to work out those, those hard-to-see muscles on your legs. And the rest of your body is going to help you pull and grip the ground. It's going to make it tougher. It's going to make the workout more difficult when you're kind of stuck to the ground on every step. Now, another great thing about this workout is it takes <laughs> probably less than 20 minutes to do. I do five sets of shuttle runs. I take a one minute 55 break in between each set, and then I finish it off with three 60 yard sprints. I sprint 60 yards, I walk back, I sprint again, I walk back, I sprint again. And now this is all high intensity interval training because you're going as hard as you can, followed by a period of rest, followed by a period of all out intensity again. And this is what's gonna build that human growth hormone. That's what everybody wants to do. It's natural and you can make your body do it. This is what's gonna help you look younger, stronger, feel better, more lively, feel more youthful and it's going to benefit you in all kinds of ways in your workouts and in your own fitness and personal development program. So here I go again. Wow, I'm really running in slow motion now, huh? <laughs> so anyway, uh, sorry, the camera angle kind of shifted, but so again, I'm running a, a distance of 30 yards each way. And I'm pretty tired at this point. This is the fourth set. But again, even on your fourth set and fifth set, if you feel like you're running in slow motion, it doesn't really matter. Because what matters most is that you're giving it your all and you're forcing your body to deal with uh, an uncomfortable and challenging scenario. And that's what's going to stimulate the most growth in your body. Right now, this weekend, I'm fasting. So I am drinking water only for a period of 24 hours, no food. And why am I doing this? One, because it's really good for you. It's gonna help you shane, it's shane. It's gonna help you shed extra weight. It's gonna um, give your body's organs a chance to heal and repair themselves as opposed to um, being focused on processing and breaking down food and and other uh, things in your body so it's good to fast every once in a while it's gonna make you look younger too it's gonna help your body shed uh, extra weight it's gonna make your skin look better it's kind of a detox process oh and also I'm, I'm, uh, I'm fasting because I have a drug test on Monday and it was kind of sprung on me because I'm getting a new job and so I have to pass a drug test well, the hardest part's over Alright, so maybe I was mistaken. Maybe that wasn't my fourth set. Maybe that was my fifth set. But anyway, now I'm going to walk it over here to the side and get a wide angle view of my straightaway sprints. As you can see, I'm done with the bulk of the workout <laughs> in, uh, in about less than 14 minutes. Can you imagine any other workout that is going to make you feel like you just killed yourself <laughs> in 14 minutes. Not too many. Not too many I've found. So right now I'm on a fast and trying to detox my body. I want to pass this drug test so I can get a new job. And I'm hoping that I'm going to succeed. It's true I do enjoy cannabis. Cannabis is fantastic. I'm a medical cannabis patient. And I enjoy cannabis um, on a daily basis. Not that much, though. But I do it mainly for just to feel relaxed. 
And I'm very, um, very productive. And I work hard. As you can see, I'm working out here. I'm trying to film a video to, trying to film a video to help people work out. And uh, I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with enjoying cannabis. I think there's a lot of health benefits to it. A lot of cancer-fighting properties, and it relaxes you and de-stresses you. And it's actually not that harmful. They've done studies where people who have smoked cannabis over a period of 20 years, one joint a day, did not get any cancer at all. Whereas people who smoke cigarettes, it's a completely different story. Now I want to give you a couple of little insider tricks on working out and eating. Now, what if you are a smoker? What if you smoke cigarettes? Well, it's not good for you and it's definitely not going to help you working out. But I'm not going to lie, I smoke an occasional cigarette here and there. But if you want to decrease the long-term negative effects of smoking cigarettes, what you can do is eat raw collard greens on a regular basis. Three times a week is going to decrease your chances of emphysema, long-term chronic health problems from smoking um, greatly. And they've done studies on that too. So that's a little insider trick for you. As you can see here, I'm running about 60 yards all out. My second one, I'm almost done. And again, I just got to say, you got to try this workout. I don't know how you feel about it. I don't know what you think. Maybe you think, oh, well, this should just run it fast. How is this going to help you build muscle or look better? It's insane how it makes you look better, run better, faster, look stronger. You're going to be better at your other workouts. So important to cross train. So important to do um, more than what you're just accustomed to doing. Break out of your norms. And I know that there's just something about running as hard and fast as you can that gives you this, this sleek, slender, yet developed muscular body. See, I'm lifting weights also on the side here. I mean, not in the side of the, <laughs> the frame of the camera, but I lift weights regularly as well, uh, maybe once a week or once every other week. And I do it in a special way. I do a very low rep weights workout, low rep, high weight, where I'm focused mostly on power. And I love my workouts. They all are synergistic and they all are good one for another. And I enjoy this sprint workout a lot. It's actually fun for me. And that's how working out should be. You should enjoy it. You should look forward to it. I know you're going to dread it a little bit if you're like me. I, I dread working out to this day, and I've been doing it consistently for the last six or seven years. Hardcore. Even after I broke my wrist and couldn't really do much, and I gained a lot of weight. So remember, the goal is to... Uh, to have fun and to push yourself and challenge yourself. I'm done with my workout now, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the video out. But thanks for tuning in to the poor man's workout. Remember to give it your all and be consistent. Shoot for at least three workouts a week. Give your body plenty of rest. Get your sleep. Get lots of water. Eat lots of raw fruits, fresh vegetables. Get a blender. Get a nice protein mix. A nice protein supplement that has no additives, preservatives, artificial anything like designer whey protein. And, oh wait, one more thing. Gotta stretch. Of course, gotta stretch. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and stretch out a bit. Make sure you're stretching out at the end of your workout. That's how I like to do it. I don't like to stretch out before my workout. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure to do a two-minute warm-up with this workout. All right, well, I hope you got a lot out of it. I know I did because I felt like dying when it was all over. You see I'm hacking up a lung here, <laughs> taking off my football cleats, and it is time to go. All right, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay fit, stay healthy, stay trim, and, um, and go all out. All right, thanks for tuning in. See you all next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.